I'm going to slap you now. I'm going to slap you now. If you say that thing again, and you see yourself, <coughs> sorry, you're as big as that person. The person is as big as yourself. He says he's going to slap you. How do you do that? Well, many of us can never take it. Many people cannot take it. You feel insulted. To be free from temptation, to, to have victory over temptation, you don't have to feel arrogant. You must pray to God to remove from you pride. Many of us have pride, but we don't know we have pride. Pride is part of everybody's life. It is pride that leads into fighting. Pride also leads to fear. Do you know why Russia is fighting Ukraine to wipe it off from the face of the earth? They have said that if they keep quiet and the Western powers come to uh, relate with uh, Ukraine and uh, stay with Ukraine or give them weapons and all that, not because there is any fight, they are afraid that these people may fight them. That's why they are fighting in advance. There's no, nothing. Ukraine did nothing to them. But just because they say they want to join, uh, you know, what they call NATO and all that. So, okay, you want to join NATO. And NATO is very uh, something. They, they may fight us in future. Because of that, let us finish them. That's why they're killing people there. You see fear? Fear of the unknown can bring you temptation. Now, this man has slaughtered many millions of people. On the face of the earth, he did not create. Temptation, when he finishes the work on somebody, he makes the person to regret. Some people will regret forever without even, um, you know, being restored. Oh, yes. Let me show you something uh, so they can understand what I'm saying. Uh, some of these things we say, they come from the word of God. Uh, let's go to the book of James, chapter number one. James chapter number one. You have victory over temptation, but if you don't know how to have that victory, uh, you cannot have, you, you, you cannot uh, be free from temptation. You know that uh, temptation uh, comes from the tempter, the devil. So he planted temptation. And with temptation, he was able to take away many angels from heaven. They are no more going to heaven again. They are for hell forever. Let me read from verse number... Um, I, would, I would take it from verse 12. I mean, James chapter 1. He reads saying, Blessed is the man that endured temptation. For when he is tempted, when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. When he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord had promised to them that love him. So that you say, in the time of temptation, the Lord is at a lot. Time of temptation is a time for you to receive blessing. Time of temptation is the time to receive a reward from God. Because every temptation you conquer, you overcome. There's a blessing following it. I read that place again so you understand what I'm saying. That this is not your word, nor anybody's word. Blessed is the man that endured temptation. For when he's tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord had promised a crown of life. Pray the Lord has promised to them that love him. It, let me tell you now. For you to overcome temptation. In the time of temptation, it, your, your love towards God will increase. That is how to overcome. Your love towards God will increase. You know why you're doing that? Because Jesus Christ came here and overcame temptation. He overcame temptation not for himself but for us. So if you fix your mind always on the finished work of God, the finished work of God, that the Lord has finished this work, that is the love towards God. That means you believe God, and if you conquer, as you can read here, as you can see, then he gives you the knowledge of God. 
So that when similar things come, you already know how God used to do something. Not only believing, you already know. Though you believe, you also know that what you believe is right. You can believe in something, but you don't know what you believe in. So, belief and knowledge, they go together as well. Do you see? So, there's a crown, there's a crown of life. The Lord has promised those that love him. Crown of life. Even if, this is unto death. St. Paul knew that a Caesar can kill anybody. Now, St. Paul stood before Caesar. The one-time Roman Empire. Uh, 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 emperor. Roman Empire, that man was the emperor. So, he stood before Caesar and defended Christ. Because the accusation there against him was to tell Caesar. They reported him. The case they incidented was that St. Paul was uh, uh, pro promoting uh, somebody else as a king. Instead of Caesar. Even the whole I Israelites proclaimed Caesar as their king. But, you know, St. Paul was projecting Jesus Christ as the king of kings. That was very dangerous. This man had his soldiers left and right. He confesses until they killed him there. He died in Rome. And he knew they were going to kill him. He wrote an episode telling uh, uh, Timothy that the time for him to, you know, transit has come. He said, there's a crown that have been a crown of life program for those who are tempted. Do you know that temptation, some of them you can be free. You can after temptation you still go to your house. There are some temptations that will take you to prison. Assuming people do you know that there are people that are, you know, in false accusation. Somebody was moving one time. I think he was going towards my to somewhere thereabout. He was arrested. They said, today's environmental day. Why are you on the road? He said, I didn't know I came from Benin. Benin people were calling on him to know where their brother went to. <clears throat> they did not uh, hear from him. No asset for him to communicate with his brethren, his family. They put him in prison as detention. They didn't jail him. He was there for nine years. He was there for nine years. Temptation or not? That's a big one. All the whole thing he came, you know, to fulfill here uh, from that city, uh, he could not do them again. He came for appointment. Even they, they were looking for him until one day that maybe one of the rulers went to Kirikiri and said, because politicians used to do that, to free some people who that stayed here so much and they have not been judged. This man was found there. Temptation. There are many kinds of temptations in this life. When a man is tempted, let him, let him uh, you know, be patient. Look towards God because temptation can cause anything. Temptation can cause you mockery. Somebody can go into temptation because he married. He married into a wrong life. That's temptation, very big one. Yes, that can happen. You see, but one thing about temptation is before ever, watch and see that you don't bring yourself into that temptation. Because already we're living in the world of temptation. But make sure that the temptation that comes your way is not from you. Because some people can also bring themselves into temptation. Uh, that's why the Bible says, don't be an evil doer. If people are mocking you as they mock Christ and kill you, try to kill you as they kill your brethren and say you're a Christian, don't change your mind. Don't change your mind. Let them kill you as a Christian. The people are answering now. Do they know? If this one is answering Christian, if they see persecution, I won't they run into the well. And hide themselves inside the water. And say nobody's here. That's the point now. 
So, now, that's what we find in verse 12 of James chapter 1. But let's see verse 13. It says, let no man say he is tempted. So, I, I, I read that again. Let no man say when he is tempted that, uh, that um, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempted he any man. God is not the tempter. The devil is the tempter. I will show you that very shortly. So that you can also remember that though you know that the devil is the tempter, so you can also remark the scripture where it is. That the duty of the devil is to tempt people. That is his business. So when you are being tempted, don't say it is God tempting you. That's what this place is saying. James 1.13 Let no man say, when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil. All temptations coming from evil, God cannot be tempted with that. Neither tempt any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and the enticement. Then when lust had received or conceived rather, it bringeth forth sin. Lust. Many people today that have affection through you know, uh, uh, you know uh, uh, fornication or adultery or something, it is because of the loss of the flesh. Bringing temptation. One man went and paid money in a hotel to go and have adultery with a prostitute. After that, he went away. He was okay. Three months time, disease came out of his body. And that disease made him to become childless. No baby. Lost cause that. That's what I'm saying to you. That uh, sometimes temptations are caused by those who are tempted. Somebody can go to draw temptation for himself. It's just like someone going to the bush. Maybe you don't use cooker. You don't use a gas cooker or stove or something. Then you go to the bush to get firewood. And the type you got is the one that smokes a lot. It will smoke you because you brought it. It's not going to smoke any other person. He will smoke you because you brought it. You went to the bush and collected it. That's why it says here again, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust had uh, conceived, when he conceived evil baby, lust conceived, think about that, he bring it forth sin and and when it is finished, when sin has concluded its work, it brings forth death. Do not err, my brethren. Don't err. Let the temptation that come not be from you. People can be tempted with what they say with their mouth. The word you say, somebody can say, you say that to me, I will teach you a lesson. He go to sue you to court. You don't have enough money to hire a lawyer. Temptation. So, do not err. Do not err, my brethren. That's what he said. In, uh, that is uh, uh, found also in verse number 16. Do not err, my brother, my brother, my sister. Don't err. Be calm. Be quiet with the Lord. Don't let temptation overcome you. Because they come through anger. I told you, I don't know whether you are the one I told or some congregation. A man returned from office, from his work place. The son has already returned from school. And uh, it was, the son was having problem with uh, another boy. The father of that boy was around. And uh, the father of that boy held the other boy whose father was on duty. And then, um, wow. He asked his own son to beat that boy. Revenge him. Beat. Beat him as you like. He was holding the boy. His son was beating that boy. The other father of that boy arrived. What? What is sin? 
the man was so angry. He lifted up that man and hit him on the ground. He died at the spot. <laughs> That's temptation. It comes through many angles, comes through many ways. Out there. Uh, by, by, by. I think by Mba, by Mba Street. In those days, a lady went to see her boyfriend and they saw another lady there. Dragging, you know, it's like they are making competition. You know what she, she did? She was so angry because she's so familiar with the house. You never expected to see another lady there. Because not married with, uh, to that man. They were only, you know, children of the devil. Sinning against their own bodies. Quickly, she just took knife. And stabbed the other lady, and the lady died straight. She was arrested. So there are many temptations that come from the tempted. See, how can you manage temptation? You must know that the things that bring temptation, that Jesus Christ had already handled it. Already. Yes, he has handled it. So, and uh, you can remain in the that's under the umbrella of temptation if you do not submit yourself to jesus christ that i've taken everything about your temptation what did jesus christ do for the devil to tempt him nothing he came as a man for man and to be tempted for man so as to deliver man from temptations there are a lot of things that cause temptations in this life one can even be sleeping in his house. You don't even know. Before you know it, and there's somebody break your house and say, bring all the money you have. That's temptation. You never dreamt of that when you came. Was there not somebody that uh, after using his motto for the crusade, as soon as he came into the house, uh, he didn't know that the motor was following him. And uh, they stopped and said, bring the key. Before he brought the key, they slapped the driver. He dropped the key. They carried the car away. That was about 9 p.m. That's temptation. That is confusion. And the owner of the car knew, 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 he knew what happened. So he took the driver, he called police, he locked him up. He said, the, the driver has come into temptation now. The man is into temptation. What are those who see the car have already taken the car away? Now think about that. Temptations come through many ways. You know, you were there. The day a woman was giving testimony here. And that she was frying something, frying something. She was giving testimony what God did for her. And then something happened and the, the oil, I don't know, it says something. I don't know who was there. I can't remember the story. You know, the oil, you know, poured, uh, is it a motorcycle? I don't know who, what did it. Something happened. And the oil poured on children. They went to the hospital. They carried them. They were burnt. The oil pour on the woman's leg. Yes, sir. But the woman was... Um, were you here that day? Yes, sir. Were you here? I am hearing yes, sir, here. Do I have a witness here? Yes, sir. You were there? Is that so? Glory be to Jesus Christ. So that will help you to, uh, to understand all that things I'm saying. Because this happened publicly. And it's still in the, uh, in, in the television archive. So, you see, she was testifying the leg. I couldn't believe it. Oil, hot oil, that people that that oil poured upon, uh, they were in the hospital. She was here giving story, I mean, testimony to God. The oil poured on her leg. She was wearing silpas. It's supposed not to be so. It's supposed to be that... Um, the whole leg will be peeled as well, like others. What happened to her own case? You see, she has a God to thank. She has Amen. a God to praise. Amen. She has a God she trusts. Hallelujah. And so, are you understanding now? Because he has that God who is always ready to take glory. Because those ones will not give God glory, but she will give God glory. So because of the glory of God that is coming to God through her, God protected her. Amen. So if you are God praiser, one who gives God glory, be sure that the king of glory shall be upon you. Amen. That's what the Bible calls the 
the spirit of glory. It's in the Bible. It's in the book of the uh, First Peter chapter four. It's there. The spirit of glory. You understand what I'm saying? It's there. And when one, uh, let, let me just show you that because I've already said that. Uh, mm, the, in, um, mm, it's there. Uh, Fourteen. Uh, the four. Uh, the four uh, what is it? my God? Look at it now. Um, uh, Jesus, and what is that verse? Verse. I'm just looking for the verse now. Hereby know we that uh, we this false Peter now. No, oh my God, I'm looking at false false John, Jesus of Nazareth. What is this? Well, I'm looking at false John. Uh, no wonder I couldn't find it easily. I think it's here. Uh, this is a uh, uh, false Peter now in chapter four here. Uh, the spirit of glory. Yeah, I can see it here in verse number thirteen. But rejoice. Verse 13. If you come on your screen, you'll find that it's there. But rejoice in as much as you are partaker. It's even if they are calling you other funny names, don't mind. They call you Christian. Don't worry. It's not people are enjoying the name Christian and promoting it. But that time, people were afraid because that was the name, the license to as, you know, assassinate people, to kill people you know, who believe in Christ. They say, but that's why it said here, um, look on your screen. Can, can we read it together? Yes, sir. Okay, let everybody enjoy it. Read together. He said, but rejoice. But rejoice. In as much as you are partakers of Christ's suffering. In as much as you are partaker of Christ's suffering. That when his glory shall be revealed. When his glory shall be revealed. You may be glad also with exceeding joy. You will be glad also with exceeding joy. In fact, give us verse 14 as well. So you can see that these things we say, they're in the Bible. Only to get to them, sometimes, verse 14, please. Yeah, reading. Now, read together. If you be reproached for if the name of Christ. If you be reproached, if you be what? Reproached. For what? For the name of Christ. For the name of Christ. Happy are you. Happy are you. For the spirit of glory and of God rested upon you. For the spirit of glory and of God does what? Rested upon is you. Is resting upon you. On That's their what, part, yes, he is evil spoken of. On their part, is evil spoken, but, but on your part, on your own part, he is glorified. He is glorified. Could you remember? Thank you very much for that wonderful reading. Could you remember a lady who came here herself? She said, and her daughter were on motorcycle. Yes, sir. They were coming to fellowship. Yes, sir. And one of these, uh, uh, I don't know what to call them now. What do you call, is that, boss? Kurukwe boss. It's just terrible. On the middle of the road, what an indiscipline. Gross indiscipline. Stopped, opened the door, not looking left or right because you have to pick up one passenger. Oh, poverty, the Lord break you down. Amen. Poverty. And the motorcyclist carrying a family hit that door. And not only that, it was coming who also had the same sudden uh, kind of a trauma. They, they, they were traumatized. You know what I mean by that? When something like that happened, somebody can even fall into the gutter, fall into, into the bush because he was confused. In that confusion, he hit them. He hit the motorcycle with the woman and the daughter. The woman was here giving testimony. Can you imagine? She said, ah, they, they said, please wait, let us give you some treatment and check you. He said, no, let me first of all go and give glory to God. Amen. Is that what happened or not? Oh, yes. There you are. So if you have an appointment with God, definitely, in the time of temptation, mm. the Lord shall stand for you. Amen. Amen. That was what happened in all these people I'm giving you, I'm reminding you. Don't let these things leave your mind. Don't let it leave your mind at all. You say, how can that woman be given testimony? She's supposed to have gotten broken legs, broken hands. But she was here giving glory to God. Because she has glory of God inside her. She has to give it out and God wanted to receive it. Because God has glory in her to receive. 
God will not allow anything to destroy that glory. Hey. That is your own case. Amen. I receive. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Are you understanding? So, well, well, well. If, if we can summarize this brief message from Matthew chapter 4, as I was saying, in verse number 1, then was Jesus Christ led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. The Spirit of God led Jesus Christ into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. So, Christ was deliberately, he deliberately went or yielded himself for his temptation because of us. That's why he came as a man. That's why God became a man to save man. Because nobody can save man than the creator. There are so many people today that are impersonating. And uh, they forget about the law of piracy. God has the orthography. God has the trademark of human being. Because he made him, he has his spare parts, he has all the record about human being. So nobody, there's no creature God created that can save man for him. Saving man I'm talking about is saving you, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a triple form. Your soul, your spirit, and your body. Spirit, soul, and body. But this now is, naturally, we have seen people rescue people. Like, fire brigade have rescued people. Divers have rescued people. People have been rescued by people. That's natural help. God can send a helper to help you out of bondage. But I tell you, spiritually, spiritual imprisonment, nobody can bail you. Only the blood in Jesus Christ can bail you. Because everybody, the Bible says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Which means the devil is truly, as Jesus says, the prince or the ruler of this world. Yes. Well. He came for us. He purposely yielded himself to be tempted. If people do not know why Jesus Christ hung on the cross and died, you should know it by this. He came being the spirit himself who came in the flesh he gave himself up to the devil to carry all your temptations i'm telling you there may be a reason why the lord is saying all this this, this very night which means if somebody here is having any form of temptation around you you don't have to come out you are coming out now amen Amen. I receive. are you understanding amen because the way god is doing something i don't understand why is god telling us this now it's possible that somebody God wants to rescue here. Amen. Both you, near audience, and a distant audience, those who are viewing all over the world. I don't know any temptation that you have in. I say, come out from that temptation. I come out. I receive. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ makes you free. Amen. Look at verse number two. And then when he had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, of course, he was after all hungry. And when the tempter, you see the devil, that's why I said I will show you the tempter. It's in the Bible, in verse number 3. And when the tempter came to him to be tempted, because there is a place you can go, you'll be tempted. Jesus went there for you, that you go not there again. Amen. You see? And then, when the tempter came to him, he said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, Command this very stone, these stones, to be made bread. See how to have victory over temptation. Somebody say, power, power, in the word of God. In the word of God. In verse 4, and he answered and said unto him, It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Look at verse 5 here. Then the devil taketh him up into a high, into the holy city, and set him up 
uh, set him on a pinnacle of the temple. If thou be the son of God, cast yourself down here. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning you. Or concerning thee. And uh, in their hands they shall bear you up. Least at any time you dash your foot against a stone. Is that in the scripture or not? It is. Is it not in Psalm 91? Psalm, Psalm 91. Verse 11 and 12? 12, yes. Uh, but look at that now. He said, does, who quoted this scripture now? The devil. Is that the devil or the not? The devil, yes, sir. Does the devil know the scripture or not? He does. Uh, there you are. So, don't be moved when somebody knows too much scriptures. Try to, what you need is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost has a way to use the scriptures. In fact, when somebody is very, you know, aggressive, trying to defend the scriptures in another way, the Holy Ghost will tell you that's not the right way. He will tell you the truth. Don't listen to that man. Okay, do you see that? So, cast yourself down. Then he gave that scripture. But Jesus, the living word of God, in verse 7 said unto him, It is written, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. If, okay, if I can speak for Jesus Christ, I will say this way. Do not mind because I came in the flesh. I am the Lord your God that made you. Without me, you wouldn't be there and answering Satan to be tempting people, tempting angels, and doing many bad things. It is written, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Okay, look at what he said in verse number, 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 number eight. Again, uh, the devil taken him up into the uh, uh, exceeding high mountain and then uh, showed him all the glory, all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and said unto him, all these things I will give to you if thou will fall down and worship me. He wanted the Lord to fall down and worship him. Many people are falling down to the devil because of what they need. Because of wealth. Because they need money. Either they need name, they need influence. They fall down and worship the devil. Will you see the devil? No. You know, giving the place of God to what you need is falling down before the devil. What did he say here? He didn't say bow down. He said what? Fall, fall down. down. Fall. The devil wants you to fall. Even if you are a child of God, he wants you to fall. But the only thing is to know how you cannot fall. It is possible you know that a thousand problems shall fall on the right, ten thousand shall fall on the left, they will not come near you. But you should know how you should not fall. How you should be comported and those things will fall left and fall right. They will not near you. Amen. Because those things come in to fall. If not the scripture says a thousand shall fall. You will not know it. You will not know. If those things hit you, they hit you to fall. Those arrows hit you to fall those who, sh who the hunters who who sh shoot animals or sh use other bow arrow uh, and the bullet when you hit the animal the animal will fall the devil is a murderer he wants someone to fall with him since he fell down from heaven of course you remember that psalm I mean, isaiah chapter 14 verse 12 how are thou fallen from heaven? O oh, Lucifer, son of the morning. How are thou fallen to the ground? So he wants you to fall. But unfortunately for him, God is building up a nation, a family, a family of the saints, a kingdom family on earth that, the, that he is coming in the ultimate power to take you to the ultimate kingdom. He is building a family. And how is God building this family? By revealing the truth of the word to you so that you don't be overtaken by the devil, the undertaker. You understand? So, that's it. How, what did the Lord reply him? Look at what he said in verse 10. 
Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee behind me. Get thee from here. Get out. Somebody tell Satan, get out here. Get out, Satan, get out. The Lord break you down. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. When the temptation or trouble is coming, you see that and you're almost overtaken. You release the word. You release the word. Get thee from hence, you Satan. For it is written. Someone say power in the world. Power in the world. Oh, it's written. What is written there already? Are you ready to read? Okay, read thou, together. He said, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Finish. Who was talking? It is the Lord your God. Jesus Christ was saying, The Lord your God. But you don't know. You whom the Bible tells clearly that you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And the Spirit of God dwells in you. Because Christ, in whom God dwells, dwells in you. So both the Father and the Son are in you. You, you don't know how to defend the world. How do you defend the world? You don't know you are the God carrier. Don't you hear Jesus say in John chapter 14 verse number 10. That my Father dwelleth in me. So, any temptation against him was against God. That's why the Lord says, touch not my anointed. Because Christ is anointed. Touch not my anointed, nor do my prophet any harm. Because I am in him. That's my house. Any problem coming to you, like temptation or whatever problem it is, don't see yourself as one taking it. See it as it's against the Lord. You stand as the mouthpiece of God. You speak for God. You command. Get it behind me, you Satan. It is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and only him shalt thou serve. You can see, dear Christ is presenting himself as God. But he never said, I am God. The same thing with you. If you are carrying God, you will speak as God. God have mercy. I say, if you are carrying God's spirit, you will speak as God. Amen. Because it is God that walketh in you both to do and to will of his good pleasure. If you give room to God, God will speak through you but through your voice. As if you are the one that is speaking. You must know whom you are carrying. If you don't know that you are carrying God, I'm afraid of you that you are very far away from the truth, from salvation. You must, what makes you a child of God? It's because you are carrying God. You cannot be a child of God without carrying God inside your life. God is the spirit. I stand at the door knocking. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. When I come in, feast will start. But not because the devil will not tempt you again. He will come to tempt you, but not you. He come to tempt the Lord Amen. that is inside of you. You stand as the mouthpiece of God, as the image of God, as the image of God at that time. The Lord being inside of you, he'll be using you because you don't see the Lord again. Now you become like a small Christ, human Christ. But you are a human being. You stand and speak with authority. Oh my God. Elijah went to the river Jordan. When he got there, when he was going to heaven, he looked at the river and said, what did this river do on the way? He brought out his mantle. Ta! Get out from the way. Divide. And the river divided left and right. And he moved inside the river. And on dry ground. Has he ever seen that thing before? <laughs> Listen. Now, the, my question is, had Elijah ever seen somebody did that? Okay. Elijah said that uh, we're going to make sacrifice here. No, don't bring petrol, don't bring kerosene, don't bring matches, don't bring fire. And put on it, No. Any God that answered by fire, that let him be the God. Did it happen or not? It happened. Did Elijah ever see anybody did that? No, sir. He has never seen anybody did that. But because he knew who he was carrying inside of him, he stood and st st spoke. And God said, yes, boy, I'm going to send fire. So that they will know that I sent you. And the Lord sent fire. Everybody bowed down and shouted, The Lord 
He is the God. The Lord of Elijah. He is the God. But after all, Elijah was tempted. Jezebel sent a message. And say, Elijah, I had you kill my 850 prophets. You, Elijah, tomorrow, you shall be like one of them. They will, your head will be cut off. Elijah lost his servant. Yeah, maybe he got to Bethel or somewhere. He dropped his servant and said, wait for me. Elijah ran into the bush and told God, please, kill me off. I'm not worthy to, I'm not better than my fathers. Kill me. That was a temptation on Elijah. The Lord saw that this man was about to faint. He sent an angel that brought cake from heaven. Woke him up from sleep. He wanted to die through sleep. Don't you hear that people die uh, through sleep? This is not a new thing. It had been happening before. He wanted to die through sleep. The angel woke him up and said, that's not the way you're going to die. You are above death. death is above, in fact, death is under your feet. Death cannot even kill you. Wake up from that sleep. I'm saying this by myself because I know in the mind of God, why he sent that angel is to prove Elijah wrong. Well, he gave him cake, gave him cruise of water from heaven. He drank it on earth here. You and I are moving about, about uh, Tire Road and Ojo Road. Uh, God have mercy. Chai! Oh no. Somebody shall wake up. Wake up. Tell your brother, wake up. Wake up. Tell your sister, wake up. Wake up. Tell four people to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Hey. Jesus. He gave him again. He, the angel came again. Gave him another cake and, uh, and told him that, listen, uh, after eating this one and all that, it's very important for you to know that the journey is so hard for you. So you're going to move uh, to the appointment that god made appointment with him 40 days and 40 nights this man was moving on the ground to mount horeb where he had appointment with the lord and they met at mount horeb of course elijah what are you doing here he said i come to report this road to you they have killed all your prophets only myself remain and uh, now they want to kill me he said elijah is that what so you the Lord didn't tell him, Elijah, were you not the one that asked me to send fire yesterday? Yesterday, not up to 24 hours, I sent fire. Everybody shouted, everybody knew that I am God. Now this time, you are running again. That's temptation. So okay, go and uh, anoint Elisha, the son of Shaphat, of Abel-Mehola. They, 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 they are in a farm somewhere. Go and anoint him. He's going to be a prophet in your office because uh, I don't know. <laughs> but what happened? Uh, before you know it, God took him to heaven. He took him to heaven. A child of God is bigger than temptation. Man. Are you understanding? Yes, temptation will come. Don't, don't make mistake about that. But you are above that temptation. Man. Don't fail when temptation comes. In Jesus' name. Amen. You know, after the man stayed in heaven, it was time for the Lord to come here in human form. He sent him, first of all, six months ahead to go and become the son of a barren man and woman, a barren woman called Elizabeth. Go there. Enter into the womb. That's the truth. And uh, your name now shall be called John. It was called John. John. At the end of the day, it was a queen as well, like Jezebel. Jezebel has passed. It was a queen that cut off that his head. A queen cut off his head. That in which he feared followed him. Don't fear temptation. Because fear, the thing you fear, you're under that thing. That thing will follow you. You are going to be bigger than your fear. Man. Temptation brings fear. But you shall be bigger than both temptation and the fear it brings. Amen. Holy Ghost power. Kingdom power. That is the truth. That's the truth. So, temptations come. 
when the word of temptation, whether I like it or not, there was somebody inside his room, something fell from the wardrobe and hit him on the head. They carried him to the hospital. Wardrobe, a box fell on his head. They in his own house. I don't know how that thing happened, but it happened. So we're in the world where temptation can happen. That's why the Lord clearly says, pray that you enter not into temptation. Because we're in a world where there is temptation. In fact, the, with the Lord, temptation is one of the reasons why the Lord wiped this world away. Oh, yes. And for you to be free from temptation, you must pass the test of God. God tested Abraham. The son he got when he was over, when he was 100 years old, Isaac, he asked him to go and give him for burnt offering. Abraham accepted. Yes, sir. He took knife. Took the boy. The boy didn't know what was going to happen. The boy helped him to prepare uh, uh, prepare altar where they would make the burnt offering. I don't know how Abraham was. Oh, my God. What are we eating nowadays? When some people are 50, 60 years, they become very frail. They are no more strong. They will begin to talk of the day they are going to die. You don't say, when, I, when he died, uh, this and that, that. I begin to talk things about death. Abraham! That time he was uh, about uh, 114 to 15 years. He, catch, he caught the young man, Isaac. Tied him like a goat. Put him on the, on the altar. Took a knife to slay him because God says so. God says stop. Abraham! Abraham! Leave that boy. Abraham! So you can do this. Your only son. Now I know that you fear God. You don't fear what you love. Because what you love, you, you preserve it. As if you are fearing it. You pet it. You pamper it. In fact, you, you keep it well. You, but this is your only son. And you know how long it took you to have this son? Sarah, your wife, got this son at the age of 90. And then, right now, because I said, because you obey my voice, by thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. The Lord made him to look behind. He saw a ram caught in the ticket. Abraham went and took the ram and sacrificed it in the place of Isaac. What does that mean? Because you overcame that test. Temptation left him. That's why today you are a daughter, you are a son of Abraham. But you don't know him. Because you obey the voice of God. That's how, because Abraham did that. God also did the same thing. By sending his only begotten son. Who is the seed coming to, through Abraham? That by your seed, all the families of the earth will be blessed. Temptations come, but you must have victory over temptation. Amen. I don't know what you're passing through in your life, in your family, I don't know. Maybe in your premises, I don't know. Maybe somewhere in your village, even in your family at home, I don't know. Somewhere in the school, in the place of work, and whatever. Maybe there's something you're passing through. You shall be overcome. Amen. You will overcome that thing. Amen. Today, you will be bigger than that. Amen. Receive promotion. I receive. I say receive divine promotion. I receive it. Begin to be lifted up. Amen. Higher above your problem. I receive. When men are cast down, you shall be saying something. I'm lifted what up. What will you be saying? I now? am lifted up. What will you be saying? I am lifted up. You will be lifted up. Amen. You are going to be praying now. You are going to tell the Almighty God, victory over temptation. She is the victor. The victor that resurrected. Jesus. Who had victory over death? Even Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. So, if the victor is in you, you are a victor. Amen. Don't mind that people are answering victor. I don't know whether they are victor indeed. They answer good names. But there is a victor who overcome 
and have victory over circumstances and temptations. Jesus is the name. So you are going to pray over temptations. Jesus said, pray that you enter not. Now, look at container. Maybe the temptation has come as container. The Lord break it down. Amen. You will not enter. Amen. Maybe it came as a net to catch you as a fish. You will not enter. Amen. No, you will not enter. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Are you understanding? Maybe it came as a motto for you to enter. One, one, one chance motto to enter. You will not enter. Amen. Mm -hmm. Somebody was going to be destroyed. He didn't know. And how they were moving and moving. He prayed to God. Oh Lord, save me. I don't know what's going on. Fire break out of the engine. Smoke begin to come. And people, you know, try to gather to help the vehicle. That's how he escaped from the vehicle. You can pray and God will send fire to burn your temptation. Amen. You know the devil is the tempter, but Jesus is greater than your temptation. Oh, yes. He's greater than the tempter. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Oh, yes. Any form temptation comes. It comes through iniquity. It comes through lust. It comes through pride. Oh, Lord. Loss of the eyes. Lot of the flesh. Love over the world. In any form it comes. You will not enter. Scatter them. I see you now scattering. I see you scattering temptation by prayer. What are you doing? Now pray the praise of fire. Say fire now. Begin to fire them now. Begin to scatter. Scatter the works of the devil. Pray in Jesus mighty name. Come on somebody. I refuse to enter. Anyhow temptation is packed. To my father, come on, I refuse somebody. to enter, refuse to fall. I stopped up the prayer, please. I stopped up, 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 I he not even come. He come to your street. I mean to your street. He come to your house. He come to your compound. Oh, thou power of God. He come to anywhere you are. Every temptation. He come to your business center. Scatter them. Scatter them now. Pray a place. Scatter them, please. Hold the power of God. Jesus Christ. Hold the fire. Jesus Christ. Hold the power. Jesus Christ. Hold the power. Jesus Christ. They come from a man or from a woman. Hold the power of God. You cannot stand. Scatter them. The Lord break you down. The Lord break the temptation. The Lord break the temptation. You come from my neighbor. The Lord break the. Oh my God. You come from my family. The Lord break the. In any form you come, you come from your uncle. The neighbor. From your uncle, from the your Lord grandmother, break you down. the Lord break you down. From the your husband's break you down. mother, the Lord break you down. From your husband's family, to fall. anywhere I you come from, ah, oh, the Lord oh, break the them down. Power of God. From your nephew, no. the Lord break them down. No. Anywhere they no. come from, no. don't no. let them stand. No. Are you there? No. They come through no. the food they're eating. No. Through your food, they come through the bone. Anyhow. You may swallow bone. Bone will hook you on the throat. The Lord rebuke them. We don't have much any from the car through sickness. He may come the Lord through the your Lord friend, Jesus, through your Lord. neighbor. The Lord break temptation down. You will, enter. you will not enter. You will not enter. You will not enter. Come on, somebody. Lost of the hey, a bride of life. Any temptation, you temptation you are passing through now. Temptation of hunger. Temptation of uh, no progress. You begin to progress on today. We don't end by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, Come on, somebody. God. Prayer. It comes through your child. It comes through Lord, the food you are eating on your table. Lord, the I food you cook by yourself. Lord, I conquer temptation can come through anywhere. He will not see you. I they shall not see me. By the blood they shall not see us. I Prayer. Hey, Shout, they will not see you. They come Shout against it. Get out. They will not see Get me. it from hand. Temptation, you will not see me. Get it you from will hand. not see my household. You in shall not tell the Lord, Jesus. Lord thy God. In the name of Jesus. The Ten Lord thy God is in, inside of me. At my side. Ten thousand at my right hand. Come on, sir. They will not see me. No plague will come near my dwelling. They will not see my brethren. In the name of Jesus. Temptation will not see us. Oh, thou power of God. 
They come in the day, they come in the night. We are invisible. We are invisible. It comes sickness. Invisible. Through sickness. When you through will diabetes. We will. It comes we through have our ear be. problem. Oh, that it comes through. Uh, you want to enter the bus oh and the, the door jam your hand. Oh my father. The Lord rebuke them. Every accident. The best of two accidents. What is that? The Lord scatter you. The Lord break Come you. Come on, somebody. The Lord scatter you. The Lord break you. Down. Come on now. I judge you by the word of God. Read the name of Jesus. Rebuke them. You come through hunger. Scatter them. The Lord scatter you. In the name of Jesus. Jesus oh, Christ. my father. The young lions do like that suffer top. hunger. They that seek the Lord shall not like them. any good thing. Oh, my father. They come through they stray, come through stray bullets. How stray strength, bullets. My Lord. Bullets made for something Lord, else. God, Mistakenly, God, he come God, to you. God, the Lord shall God, defend God, you. God, God, Pray. God, God, you will not enter. God. You will not enter. Yeah. You will not enter. You will not enter. I will not enter. They you come through one chance. Through one chance. Kidnappers. You will not enter. We God them. will help you. I will overcome them. I will overcome them. God will help you. I will overcome them. I will not enter. You will not enter. Jesus, I bind them. Prayer. Lord, I scatter every temptation, any tactics, any way they will come. Oh, my father, we break the power. I break the power by the blood they of come Jesus. Through the I medicine you drink, in the name of Jesus, the medicine you drink, or people say the witchcraft attack put in the mouth after their cover, they scatter you and say, Let the Lord break you down. Let motor you jam you. See they will not see you. In the name of Jesus, they will not see they you. They come through sleep. Your prayer is that they will not dream. see me. The Lord break you down. Prayer, you will not see me. Come on now, through bad dream, you will not see me. The Lord break you down. I am not a victim. Oh, my father, come on, Holy Ghost, take over. Oh, Lord, arise, send fire. Holy Ghost, send fire. Holy Ghost, send fire. Holy Ghost, send fire. In the name of Jesus, I am not a fan. Any development, we are not a fan in your kidneys. I am not a fan in your liver, in, the name in your of intestines, Jesus. Oh, the power in your of pancreas, God. in your, your gallbladder, through my heart, anything through the liver, uh, through the kidney, the Lord through my them. eyes, the Lord all your chemistry them. system, oh, the power of God, through the food you the eat, crown of my head, to the, the soul of my feet, down. temptation through the eyes, the Lord Prayer. rebuke thee, the Lord Prayer. scatter you. Prayer. The Lord the Lord Come on, time. somebody. In the name of Jesus. All that power the of God. Look at that. Through my health. Through health. The Lord the Lord The Lord scatter you. The Lord break you down. The Lord scatter you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I overcome by the blood of Jesus Christ. I overcome by the word of God. We conquer temptation. We overcome temptation by the blood of Jesus. By the word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Oh, my Father. We overcome. We overcome them. Anyhow, they come. Oh, my father, he full arrow, the Lord break you down. Go back to center. He full arrow, arrow of death. Anyhow, you come. Temptation, arrow of temptation. The Lord rebuke thee. I break you down. The Lord rebuke thee. In the name of Jesus. In the we name are not available. We are of not Jesus available. Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We are praying that prayer. Amen. Jesus' power, super power. Jesus' power, super power. I say Jesus power, oh. super power, Jesus power, oh, super power, Jesus power, super power, Jesus power, super power, super, super, super power, super power, super, super, super power, super power. Super power, super power, Jesus power, super power, Jesus power, super power, Jesus power, super power, Jesus power, super power, 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 super power.
Lord tell you. Super power. Jam your hand, oh, jam your hand, oh. Hey. Super power. Super, 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 super. Super power. Super, super, super power. Super power, super power, oh. God place. You must appreciate God. Thank the Almighty God. You see, when you, the, the Bible, I tell you, I've never seen a book like this. He settles everything. Look at temptation now. It's coming out from the Bible to tell you how to escape from it. It's just receiving Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And you become a child of God. Anything that is coming against you shall fall on the shield. Amen. He said, as many as are baptized into Christ by the Holy Christ. Ghost, have put on Christ. Have put on Christ. He said, the Lord God is a son and also a shield. That's why when that arrow, 10,000 and 1,000, left and right, 11,000 comes, they'll be falling. Amen. They'll be moving freely. Amen. Holy Ghost power. The kingdom power. So thank him for hearing your prayers and setting you loose and uh, taking care of your situation, whatever it is. Now your situation is going to change Amen. because we're in the year of condition and you shall have the best of the condition. Amen. Prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Thank Pray you, Lord. Jesus thank mighty. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I give you glory. I give you honor. Thank you, Lord, for changing situations for the best. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for changing conditions for the best. In the name of Jesus, glory be to your name. Be thou exalted. Thank you because you have done what only you know how to do. Daddy, we thank you. We give you glory. Because today, you have scattered temptations. You have dealt with ugly situations. You have glorified your name. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody is revived. Somebody is free from temptation. We are free from trouble. Every trouble coming ahead. All the situations coming ahead that you have not approved. You have exposed them today. You have scattered them. Glory be to your name. As that Lord, prayer is going to take your Holy Ghost we back as you are praying that prayer. We Don't take your Lord. bath now. We as you are Lord. praying that prayer, Come on, take Holy Ghost back now. You are bath away Lord. rubbish. You have dealt with By miracle, you just take your Holy Ghost back. Food By mystery. God is a mystery. Food temptation. God is a you mystery. Have with them. You have uprooted them. In the name of Jesus. God is a Glory mystery. Glory be to your name. You have scattered. I'm telling what you. What you have not planted. You have uprooted. What you have not planted. In the name of Jesus. You have cast down. Imagination of the devil. Temptation on the way. They are finished. In the name Thank you, Father. of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We have prayed that prayer. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for taking care of us. Thank you, Father. It has happened. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, I'm going to pray for the kingdom of freedom. But sit down a little bit. Sit a little bit. Uh, sorry. Is there, is there anyone now? Anyone? Is there any testimony here? Any testimony there? Come quickly. We'll give you the chance. Very urgently. Please uh, make microphone available. Yeah. Make microphone available. Any testimony in the, in the congregation? Let us give God his glory. I'm telling you. That's how God works now. Through testimonies. Yes, let's hear from you what God has done uh, for us. The Holy Ghost power. The Holy Ghost power. And the kingdom power. Uh, I just want to thank God Almighty for his greatness, for his kindness. Yeah, what, what has he done now? Wonderful. Concerning this message that daddy gave. Hallelujah. Man. It's like God just designed this message for, for me personally. Victory over temptation. Hallelujah. Amen. Just like what daddy say, there was a lady in my compound. I don't know what to say. 
But I really, God, I just want to give God the glory because all what Daddy said is like He just says it concerning me, and I give God the glory. How He's driven me. All, all that the Word of God says. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> your, the Daddy in heaven. Not all this uh, one word that is we have here. Smart, you know. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. He happened that last year after the Holy Communion. And it's like God know He spoke through Daddy. That after this Holy Communion, there is going to be a temptation. And actually, that word came to pass. When I was in the room, lie down, my daughter came in. He said, Mommy, this, uh, this person slapped my eye. And truly, if you look at her eye, it was very red. And that period was a period that they were writing a third term exam for final this thing. I did not say they need to say lie down because the word that Daddy has spoken. I did not say I say lie down. And that lady used that point as a criteria, be beating this girl all the time. Even what, what daddy said that there was a man that was coming back from the walk and he saw another man hold his son beating. And that thing would have taken place that day. He had my daughter and three of her children, they were beating my daughter. I just came, I was struggling to just separate her from the do my daughter. And God gave me victory over that. And sometimes she will be boasting. I don't know what she's looking for. She will be boasting that she will do that, she will do that. Sometimes my daughter will be angry. She wants me to react. I say, we are kingdom children. We cannot do that. So your testimony now is you are being tempted. Yes. How and God, what happened? And how God gave me victory. And you do not allow me to fall into temptation whereby maybe I fought with her. Maybe I quarreled with her of any kind. But God just gave me the victory that I always overcame her. Hallelujah. Yes, because you are a child Amen. of God. Yes. Amen. Come the Holy Ghost power. For Jesus. Is there any testament of healing? Thank God for that. Is there any testament of a miracle of healing? Can we see you? Uh, please. Uh, when did it happen? When did it happen? Uh, when did it happen? Okay, let's hear you give a microphone, please. The Holy Ghost power. Kingdom power. My name is Na Oliver. I want to thank God for healing me from uh, pains. And this happened after a, a white month. All the things, pains I normally have here, every part of me, the pains went away. And today, self, it was like I, I was just like a small person. The Holy nothing, Ghost power. Nothing, nothing is holding me. Nothing. I, I, it was like I, I can fly, I can jump, I can do anything. So I thank God because that pain that left me in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Since now, when? Since when it happened? Just after. It's after, after the after white, white month. month. So white be, month. Before yes. the white month, you were have carrying those before, pains. Yes. Then after the white month. Everything disappeared. The Lord. And, and today, self, it's like everything. Nothing and nothing is happening to me. I, it's wow. not like I can just fly. I can just jump. I, I, nothing the Holy Ghost happen. power. <laughs> Wonderful. So after the white months, uh, you know, season and service, mm. you became white. Yes, I tell sir. You. Renewed. I, there's no place for something to hide. No place yes. again. You know, if there's any small spot on white something, it, it will show. It will show. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. Sir. No place to hide again because mm -hmm. she became white. Amen. Became clean. Yes, sir. Amen. The Lord cleans those things up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know whether there's somebody here, something is hiding in you. The Lord clean it up. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. May that miracle continue. Hallelujah. Amen. And again, a few days ago, I was just going home at Yanoba. I wanted to cross to, to get another bus to my side. I didn't know that Okada was, I didn't see the Okada. I didn't just see it. Immediately before you know, Okada just fiam and that something pushed me back. That was when, when I knew that Okada was passing that road. Otherwise, I didn't know. Now, the now, Lord, the Lord pushed start, you back. I would have yeah, just, the Lord pushed you back. Mm. Just a great accident would have happened. Mm. Haven't you had this little testimony back. before? Several. 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 The Lord yes. pushed somebody, push somebody back. back. Because you know, the Lord will not allow you to enter exactly, sir. into, into that, that temptation. temptation. To break the leg you used to sing choruses mm. and uh, praise the Lord. Mm. The devil come and break it. The Lord will not allow will it. Not allow it. I don't know whose leg will be broken here now. No, no leg. Receive your miracle. I receive. Ah, we thank God for that miracle. The Holy Ghost power. The kingdom, kingdom power. power. Give the Lord a hand. Give the Lord a hand for that Hallelujah. miracle. Hallelujah. Give Wonderful. him praise. Mm. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. All right. Now, rise up on your heel because of uh, 
you know, schedule. What you're going to do now, tell the Lord I'm, a, I'm about giving to you. Please receive my offering. Sometimes people give offering, they're not even sure whether God is going to receive it or not. They don't even talk to God. They just give prosperity offering. You remember that before, before people would give prosperity offering, they would talk to God. That's why there were testimonies after prosperity offering. Do you hear testimony again about prosperity offering? Do you hear it again? No. Because you just give, you just give as if you're dashing somebody money or the church or just want to do traditional something. If you want to prove that what you're doing is of God, you have to talk to God before you do that thing. That's the truth now. So talk to God about the offering you're about to give. Not every time you, you, somebody will be here praying for you. To, uh, uh, is, the, is the person going to receive your offering? The person, if I, okay, if I pray for you now, am I going to receive your offering? No, I look at you now. No, but you who is going to receive the blessing, you'll be there receiving double portion. Ah, uh, look at you. So you're going to pray now over the offering you are going to give to God. Tell God to receive it. Uh -huh. and uh, you can pronounce certain things when you're praying now pray now pray now pray that pray now god bless you as you do that receive the offering receive the offering receive the offering and pour your blessing receive the offering your offering in our hand O lord as we give to you my father bless this hand that is giving you your offering oh lord bless this hand anointing changes things Moments of recovery Celebrate Jesus With Recovery TV